Hi, this is Mick Elliott from Electronic Specifier. I am on the Arrow Electronics stand at Embedded World. With me is uh, Def Patel from Qualcomm and Barry Mullins from e InfoChips, which is an Arrow company. And uh, we're here to talk about an extension uh, of the agreement between Arrow, e InfoChips and Qualcomm. Before we actually get to what the extension brings, could we just, first of all, just discuss the original agreement as it was established? So, yeah, I'll get started with that. Maybe you should chime in as well. So uh, Qualcomm, Arrow, Info have been working together for quite some time. We have what we call is now a strategic arrangement where we announced this Edge Labs, but before that was a standard partnership that uh, we used Info as design services and we had Arrow be one of our distributors. But now what has changed is a combined uh, effort to invest together in making solutions ready for market with the e-info chip expertise, which, which is called the Edge Labs, where we have Qualcomm resources and e-info resources building custom uh, turnkey solutions and Arrow distributing them as part of this whole plan. Maybe you should... Start. Yeah, I mean, Arrow have had a very long relationship with Qualcomm over time. Over the last seven plus years, eInfoChips has been developing technologies on Qualcomm for customers, specific designs and one-off opportunities. And uh, we brought out some SOMs over the last couple of years. With the new investment that we're making on our side, we're putting dedicated resources to build the expertise from an engineering perspective. And then we scale that out through Arrow, through the field teams and the sales teams to customers. And we're also bringing out uh, some new products that are based on Qualcomm technologies called System on Modules and Developer Kits. And the goal there is that we can take our expertise with Qualcomm's expertise training us in the background and then we can take that to market, allow customers to then accelerate their development time for proof of concept, and then ideally all the way into production and take it to market. Okay, now obviously uh, the original agreement's been successful because we now have an extension to the agreement, which is the Edge Labs initiative. Can you just talk us through what that brings to the customer base, what support it gives to the customer base, and how it makes their life easier? Okay. So I'll get started, right? The premise of this is Qualcomm desire to address IoT as, a, as a, a holistic approach, right? So we've been very successful in mobile, we've been very successful in automotive, but IoT, the nature of IoT is a very fragmented thing. So you need uh, uh, a reach out or a fan out to thousands and thousands of customers. For example, right now Qualcomm has 15 plus thousand customers, customer based on IoT. When you look at Arrow, they have distributor base of over 210,000 customers uh, out there. So, of course, this is where, where the whole relationship is coming from, is we want to scale out our prop value proposition as much as possible, and also make the adoption of Qualcomm technology faster, time to market for end user faster. So that's where expertise from eInfo uh, comes in play, where they put the solution together, which is ready for the market, so saves the end mass customer the time to market, and say a mom and pop startup shop tomorrow wants to build a cool IoT product. They can take solution from Arrow with custom uh, vertical, uh, with hardware, software, everything together, and go to market very quickly. So overall, what I think this whole relationship is going to do is lift the tide of the market and make adoption of Qualcomm technology more easier and more importantly, help the ecosystem take advantage of these cutting edge processors which are a little bit difficult to use but with Arrow and e-info chip will be made easier. Okay, if, I, if I'm a customer and I'm about to interact with the Edge Labs, who will I be speaking to? What sort of support do I get from Edge Labs? What sort of team is going to staff up at Edge Labs? Well, from our perspective, Arrow is the overall company and many of our customers will engage directly with the Arrow Salesforce similar to the way they do today, whether it's on the sales side or on the FAE side. Mm -hmm. um, behind that, we have our eInfoChip sales team and we have a two-prong approach for those sales teams. Many of them are engaged with uh, separate customers for different reasons, but we pull the eInfoChip sales team in to meet the customers at the front end with Arrow. And then we will back that with our system architects and solution architects to help them define the solution, figure out what the best um, you know, chipset is from Qualcomm to meet their needs. 
And with the SOM or system on module that comes as a developer kit, they can just buy that directly through Arrow once when they're up on the website there. We have a number of them that are available today and a couple of new ones that will be coming out over the next kind of six to 12 months. And, and they can start with that and do their proof of concept without having to be fully dependent on somebody like an e chips or even Qualcomm direct support. And they can do that with our field teams. And then once they've figured out the kind of the foundation pieces, we can then help them or assist them to move on, or if they have the capability themselves, then they've already got the, the head start with the developer kit, and then they can move to doing their design, whether it's chip down or whether it's with the system on module. I mean, some of this is a complex challenge, isn't it, for developers? And that's the sort of support they can get from Edge Labs with Qualcomm and Arrow Info chips people involved? Yeah. So, I mean, the main support will come from Arrow directly, and we will back that from an eInfoChips perspective with our engineers who have designed boards, designed software, designed applications on that. And then if we need it, we've got Qualcomm behind us that can support us on any of the deeper technical or, or more complicated questions in that. So it is really a scaling approach, and that's the challenge you have with the edge and, and what's happening in IoT is that all these diverse applications, nobody can be one master of all of them. So we have different expertise in Arrow and eInfoChips for different markets, and then we can scale and become the one-to-many channel for Qualcomm. Now, I know uh, eInfoChips has, has uh, got the Acri uh, family of system on module development kits, but I think there's a new product just been launched at Embedded World. Can you talk us through that, Barry? Yeah, Acri itself is actually a new branding that we've put out there. It's uh, based on a, a Greek word, A-K-R-I for edge. And we've added AI to the front of that for Acri or Acri, which is really to talk about the edge and the AI capability and that technology performance that we're able to get with the Qualcomm technology. So we have a new system on module and dev kit, the Acri 4, uh, 42X and the X allows for a different variation of the Qualcomm chipset to be in there. Mm -hmm. That supports multiple operating systems, Linux and Android. And uh, we also have a developer kit that's coming out in that. And that developer kit scales across a number of our different modules. So you could have a developer kit and develop on one, but go to production or go to market with a different module uh, because we're, we're going to supply a, a, a scalable platform for customers to develop on. So this is the first of the new um, Edge Labs initiatives. And we have a couple of more that are in the pipeline based on chipsets that Qualcomm are bringing to market and announcing, uh, I think this one, the 6490, was announced uh, at the show. We will have something there, and then we have something else planned for later on in the year. And that, the, the, the kit you just mentioned, that's available now? So we, we have that going literally going into production. You will be able to purchase it probably in late May, early June. Uh, it'll be on arrow.com and available through all our Arrow branches. And I guess the beauty of this agreement is that we've, we've talked about an extension today. Uh, you know, there's further opportunities down the road. Absolutely. I mean, just to recap, right, what did Qualcomm announce at this show? We announced four m new products. The RB1, the 2210, RB2, which is the 4210. Then we announced the 5430 family and then the 6490 family. So part of the Edge Labs, all these products, right now we announced... Acri, which is Acri 4X, which is 4210, but you can assume or you can be guaranteed that there will be Acri solution based on all the products that we just announced, and that's part of the strategy. So Qualcomm announces products, multiple operating systems can be done, Arrow, Info, and other partners, we are going to have SOMs and modules, and that is going to help the ecosystem uh, more and more, yes. Okay, Barry, anything to add to that? Yeah, I mean, the... The advantage we've got right now in, in doing this scalable solution is the 42X is out. We will have the 22X in the same time frame available in the market because the chipsets have a lot of overlap. So we're able to leverage the technology to do that. And then the Acri family is just going to grow with the, as, as the Qualcomm family grows. And we're, we're very fortunate to have the you know Qualcomm behind us to support us as we develop the technology. And our, our goal there is to bring the, the technology as fast as possible to market so that customers can then leverage it and de-risk their programs so they can get their products to market and you know rely on Qualcomm technology with the support of Arrow and then even for chips if required. Okay, Dev Patel from Qualcomm and uh, Barry Mullins from eInfoChips. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.